people and things we love, and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we're going to answer the question, how is the VIX calculated? So the VIX, as you commonly know it as potentially the fear index or the volatility index on the S&P, is again a measurement of the 30-day expected volatility in the S&P 500. So how do they judge or how do they measure the expected volatility on the S&P. And it's actually quite simple and it's quite logical if you actually read the white paper that the CBOE puts out. So again, you can look up CBOE white paper on the VIX and you can read all about it and go through the, I think it's like 15 or 20 pages of the actual calculations if you want to. But the end result is that they basically take a weighted average of both near and far term put and call options and they weight the value of those contracts and then derive an implied volatility from those values. So it's a little bit of a backwards calculation in the sense that we are solving for implied volatility and trying to figure out, okay, if people are buying options aggressively or not aggressively at different strike prices and different maturities, how much based on participants buying options are they expecting the S&P to move. Likelihood is that when people are more aggressive at buying options and they price option contracts much higher, they are expecting a much higher move in the S&P because they're moving funds into volatility products or into option contracts that might hedge the potential downside risk of the market. Now, the components of the VIX, again, are priced in using near and next term put and call options. They specifically say that it's no more than 23 days and no less than 37 days. So there's actually a lot of people who would say that they use weekly contracts. And although they use weekly expirations, they don't necessarily use weekly contracts in the more traditional sense of option contracts that expire, say, 7 or 14 days. That might be too short of a timeline for how the VIX is calculated. What they're really trying to target is something on average around 30 days. And they use kind of this rolling window between 23 and 37 days to account for different fluctuations in maturities as we go through time. And so the idea is that they also weight the option contracts that are closer to at the money as having more potential weight because people are buying protection closer to where the stock is trading as opposed to potential stocks or option contracts that are further from the money. So we do the same thing when we calculate implied volatility on our end for our IV ranking that we use here at Option Alpha. We use a 30-day weighted average of near and closer near-term, next-term option contracts. And we also weight the different option expirations and the different strike prices to come up with something around 30-ish calendar days. So it's a very similar type of methodology that we use to calculate implied volatility. Not all brokers use this type of mentality or this thought process. Many brokers might just take the closest to the monthly contracts, or they might have a way to rank one option contract over another. But I think using a combination of different strikes and different maturities ultimately gets us a smoother picture of where things might go. So again, if you want to look at all the details of exactly what the exact calculations are going into the VIX uh, without this high level that we just went through, Again, check out the white paper that uh, the CBOE puts out on the VIX product. Until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.